Like farming, growth of the kingdom of God is a cycle. In order to be effective in seeing the kingdom of God grow, we must know how to multiply leaders. Some leaders will serve within churches. Some leaders will serve by being sent from churches into empty fields with the gospel. Some leaders will serve in both ways. If we do not multiply leaders, the cycle of kingdom growth cannot continue. Multiplying leaders includes entrusting what we have been taught to faithful followers of Jesus. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verses 1 and 2 say this, You then, my child, be strengthened by the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and what you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses entrust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Paul writes to Timothy that what he has heard from Paul he is to entrust to faithful followers of Jesus who will be able to teach others. Four generations are present in these verses, Paul, Timothy, faithful men, and others. This is part of the process of multiplying leaders. We should seek to entrust what we have learned about the kingdom of God and how it grows to faithful men and women who will teach others. This begins with searching for faithful followers of Jesus to teach about how the kingdom of God grows. We can find these faithful men and women among churches and groups of believers we know. When we have found these faithful ones, we can entrust to them the teaching of how the kingdom of God grows and encourage them to teach others. Multiplying leaders includes walking closely with those faithful followers of Jesus. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1 says this, Be imitators of me as I am of Christ. Paul writes to the church in Corinth that they should imitate him to the extent that he imitates Jesus Christ. Every follower of Jesus should seek to become more like Jesus and imitate faithful believers who are like Jesus. We should invite faithful followers of Jesus to walk closely with us as we seek to see the kingdom of God grow, so that they can imitate us to the extent that we are like Jesus. This is an important part of multiplying leaders. A helpful progression for mentoring leaders in this way is to model, assist, watch, and leave those we mentor. These parts are explained as follows. Model. We must model for those we mentor how we do things, how we live our lives, and how we make disciples. We should take someone with us for most of the things we do. They need to see our passion in action. Assist. We must allow those we mentor to assist us in what we are doing. As responsibilities are given, the faithful ones will become obvious. We will truly see who is obedient. Watch. We watch those we mentor as they begin to do all that we have done with them. This assures us that they do not stray from what the Word of God teaches. We want to make sure that they pass on what we have given them. Leave. We must give those we mentor some space. We must leave them to do the work. We entrust them to God and hold them accountable as we continue to mentor them. Our desire should be to empower them to do what God has called them to do. If we entrust the teaching of the kingdom of God and walk closely with faithful followers of Jesus, we will multiply leaders. We must multiply leaders in churches and in empty fields for the cycle of kingdom growth to continue. If we are faithful to pursue kingdom growth in every area, we will see God's kingdom grow. We must make every effort to abide in God, enter empty fields, proclaim the gospel, engage in discipleship, form churches, and multiply leaders. If we are faithful in these areas, 
God will use us to bear much fruit in his kingdom. Many will come to enjoy God, and the knowledge of the glory of God will fill the earth.